so I just come to check on my beetle pupa and I found all these springtails on this banana skin and I was quite impressed until I looked over here and we have a beetle! Now it's been incredibly hot in England like so I think this has just sped up the entire process this is crazy because I can't remember I'll put a date up on the screen when I found the first um cocoon and from what I've read it can take months but I think the heat has helped speed this up because I wanted to get a whole setup ready for these guys and this one's just popped out right so I'm gonna try to handle it I know these can technically fly if they want to no I think it's just having a defense mechanism well not really a defense it's like I'm acting dead hopefully so we picked this up and it decided it wasn't going to move and it was going to freak me out and I was like get some apple and as you can see it has woken up. <laughs> it scared me for a moment there but it is going to have a little munch. One thing I have noticed is there is a white mark on one of the beetle's spots. I don't know if that's going to stay there, however that might help us identify that this is the first one that hatched. So it's the next morning and I went to check on the beetle and I'm like what's it doing in the corner? And then I open it, I think I freaked this one out because now it's playing dead. There's two! So, yeah this one's going to act like it's dead. I have learned that these beetles when disturbed will just freeze, but let's put them on the, on the apple. And we can tell this is a new one because this is the first one because it had a white dot on it. And I think I'm going to call the first one Avo because when I posted pictures of it, it looks like an avocado pip. Um, as you can see, there are springtails everywhere and that's actually for good reason. They keep down any sort of mould growth which um, could harm the beetles. So if you are going to set up a tank like this, springtails, excellent. Some people even put isopods with them. So it's day six and I'm pretty sure I've seen three beetles in here just from looking outside so let's have a look inside. So we have one here on the old uh, banana skin, we have another one here and there's definitely at least a third one around here. I did put in a tomato that we grew in the garden but it seems like the springtails like it the most and I put in some more uh, leaves but I think I'm going to add in a bit of cork, some wood for them but I've also brought up some grapes that are starting to go off a little bit so I hope they enjoy those. I've come back a little bit later and this one has been munching on the grape and then I open the lid and it stopped and then there is one underneath but I swear there is a third one in here it's just hiding right now. Okay we can see four beetles so I am going to oh there you go I wanted to quickly catch them whilst they were out. I swear they keep just hiding there's probably all ten in here so now we know there's definitely four. So I thought I'd just get them out. They've kind of released a, 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 a juice that smells funny. This one's, I don't know if this one's freshly out because it's like, wings look a bit different, don't they? So I don't know, that one might be freshly out. Um, one problem we have ha like occurred in this tank is fungus gnats. I absolutely hate them. Um, and they are flapping everywhere. Um, and there's also some weird Whatever that is on that. There's that same juice I just saw on the leaf on the back of that one. So I don't know if that comes out when they hatch out or they've just done something else. I'm not sure what that is. But this one does look sort of different to the others. So as you can see, we still have bits of tomato and grape. And I'm sure there's still a bit of apple left. There is like a banana bit. But I don't think they really like that. But for the beetles today, I have a banana skin because... 
believe it or not, this is a banana skin and the springtails love it. It does have remnants of banana on it and I think the beetles like it. It's good to offer them a variety, so that's what we're doing. Has this one just come out of here? So I've just put them on. I can only find three this morning. Also, these beetles will let off like a weird juice sometimes when you pick them up and it stinks. So that's nice. Just a little warning before you pick them up. I'll be honest, I haven't seen the beetles much. Um, this tank is starting to resemble kind of a compost heap and sort of smell like one too. But I've heard that if you haven't seen the beetles in a while, put down a fresh slice of apple and they should appear. So it's the next night and though I did see beetles on the apple this morning, they're nowhere to be seen today. I think they're going to do a lot better once they have some heat and light. We've been quite fortunate that it has still been quite nice and warm, but of course they need decent temperatures. And as I said at the beginning of this, like, I was told when they're in the pupa stage, you know, when they're in their cocoons, it takes ages, but we had such a burst of heat it was actually horrible it was way too hot but um i think that really made them come out sooner now i do have a tank coming it's coming from haberstadt and so it'd be cool to try out one of their tanks because i know they've come out with some new terrariums i'm gonna set up uh, a tank just for the beetles and we're gonna find out all the beetles that have hatched we'll give them a good count so we know how many there are because i'm sure We'll see two someday and it might not be the same to the next. Um, and I'll set that all up in a future video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe you want to get some of these grubs now and, you know, grow them into beetles. I think we still have a few. Yeah, see this pupa still has something in it. Lots of springtails around it. Um, but it's, it's so interesting. And there's an empty pupa and like when you look inside of this look at that you see that it almost looks like black rubber or something like it doesn't feel like it but it's just so the structure is just so cool but anyway this has been a really cool journey personally just seeing them go from those giant grubs to these amazing beetles but as I said, I'm getting them a tank. We're going to set that up in a future video and uh, see how many beetles we actually have. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>